You? Is anybody? There's Molly, folks. That means your friends, the Goldbergs, are here. Brought to you by Does, the new kind of soap for everything in your wash. First, let's drop in on the Dozen family. Hmm, there's Daisy Dozen home from her first high school class in dramatics. She's telling Ma... I've decided, Ma. I'll be the world's greatest living actress. That's real nice, Daisy. I'll devote my life to my art. Well, could you spare a minute to take this Daz over to the Palmers? She's never tried Daz. Okay, Ma. Ah, I go on wings of lightning. Oh, don't run your legs off, Daisy. Just tell her it's that new kind of soap for everything in the wash. I shall say, here in yon red box is Daz. One soap for all your washing. Rag rugs, towels, rayon undies, overalls, everything. Gracious, all you have to say is Daz does everything. Why, it's just wonderful, even for Pa's dirtiest work shirts. Oh, work shirts? Wherefore art thou, work shirts? Well, wherever they are, dear, Daz will clean them easy without a bit of hard scrubbing. I never fuss with a bar soap anymore now. Does does the job all by itself. All this and more does does. Right. Tell Mrs. Palmer does gets the grimiest towels whites can be. Honestly, she won't see a whiter wash. And don't forget to tell her this same does is safer for the pretty colors she washes. Fear not, Mother dear. I'll tell her she can wash the rainbow in does. Nonsense, Daisy. Just say colors stay bright longer with does. Yet it can't be beat for getting towels really white. Ah, does. Telling of thy wonder shall be the start of my career. Land sakes, does sure does everything. <laughs> well, just about everything. In fact, Does is the only leading wash day soap that combines so much safety for colors along with so much cleaning power for the tough dirt and unsurpassed whiteness for your towels and linens. Try Does, D-U-Z. It does everything in your wash. And now, the Goldbergs. Well, Rosie's suspicions of her sister-in-law were bound to hit a stone wall when she learned that Grace was going to have a baby. Yes, that ruined all Rosie's hopes of forcing a showdown between Grace and George. And, of course, as a result, Rosie capitulated. Yes, she signed her insurance policy over to Grace. And then she told Grace to forget George. Well, while Grace pretended she didn't know what Rosie was talking about. Meanwhile, Rosie, in an effort to avert a disaster, told George not to come to the Goldbergs. Only George did walk over just a few minutes ago, and Rosie ran to meet him, furious, bewildered, unhappy. Listen. Uh, go ahead, Rosie. Y your mother's calling you. Rosie! Rosie, mother's calling you. I'll be in in a minute, Mom. Hey, uh, your mother's calling you, Rosie. What are you and George not huddling about? Come on up here on the lawn so we can all talk. Uh, Rosie won't let me. No, I won't. Rosie, gee, you poor kid, what's the matter? You're going to get yourself sick. Tell me what's on your mind, huh? You've been bawling me out and saying some pretty nasty things, and I just don't know why. Maybe it's because I... Just don't know what to say to a young kid like you. If if you were older, I'd just tell you where to get off. But seeing you're only a baby. I... But you know, when you tell me to stay away from your house for no good reason, when you make accusations against my character, well, gee, it's just a little too much. You knew Grace before you came to Lastonbury, George. What makes you say that, Rosie? Just because... But why are you so concerned about everything she does? Well, because... Because what? Well, give me a chance and I'll tell you why. Over here. We're coming, Grace. Rosalie, how did you run out of the house so suddenly, so so why? Nothing, my. Uh, you better I... take care of your daughter, Mrs. Goldberg. Yes, George, why? Mm, she's awful nervous. Am I going to sit here under the apple tree all alone? It's not an apple tree, Grace, darling. That's not an apple tree. That's a maple tree. An apple tree. She said, <laughs> sit under the apple tree like the song. She don't want to sit under the apple tree with you only, you. <laughs> Be coming, Grace, darling, be coming. Lay down, Spotty. Come on the lawn with Grace. But standing here in the road like that? Why, you ran out of the house, Rose? Let her I'm talking in the middle of our conversation. You run out of the house? <laughs> what is that? All of a sudden, what is that? Lay down, Spotty. Come on, Spotty, get out of my way. Lie down, come on. <laughs> Grace, dear, you, you're comfortable sitting here, huh? 
That's a maple. See, the next time you should know, a maple tree is not an apple tree. An apple tree looks like me. A maple tree looks like you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so warm, darling. Close up your neck, darling. All right, Close up your neck. Right. Rosalie, Grace's magazine. Uh, I'll get it. I'll get it. Well, sit quietly, Grace, Here, darling. Grace. Please. Please. You know what the doctor said, darling? Quietly, mm -hmm. only relaxingly. Well, what am I standing? I have to do and to do. Excuse me. Rosie, darling, you'll come indoors, please. I want Grace to have her eggnog. I'll be in in just a little while, I'll Ma. stir it up and then I'll call you. You're comfortable, Grace, Yes, darling? Mother, don't worry so much about me, please. You heard that, George? Uh -huh. I shouldn't worry. George is a stranger and he's worried. He ran to the drugstore. He bought magazines. He calls up I don't know how many times a day. He runs forwards and backwards, and I shouldn't worry. If George worries, I shouldn't worry. <laughs> don't be foolish. Look how sporty. Rosalie, darling, you'll be in, please. And Grace, button up your neck, please. Yes, Mother. So much to do. I, I, I want to put clean curtains on. I in will, Ma. Please. In don't just a minute. minute. All right, darling. You can go in, Rosie. I don't mind being alone. Uh, Rosie won't go and leave us alone, will you, Rosie? You know, believe it or not, she's given me fair warning to stay away. Yes, I have. I think we'd better set her straight on all this. I don't see how we can. Rosie spoke to me, too, and I told her the truth. I don't understand you, Rosie. I don't understand what you're driving at. I mean, even if I had happened to know George, what of it? What difference does it make? What are you fussing about? I'm not fussing. I'm only saying that my brother Sammy is away somewhere, and I don't like the idea of... That's just it. What I did. I don't know, Grace. I never saw her before. Before that day that you introduced me to her. The fact that we come from the same town doesn't mean anything. It, it wasn't a small place like Lastonbury. As a matter of fact, I just happened to be working in that town along with thousands of other I'm people. I'm not talking about that. I'm only saying That's that... just it, Rosie. What are you saying? I mean it seriously. This isn't funny anymore. This isn't just being naively jealous of me because I'm married to your brother. What are you saying? Because if it's anything important, I think your mother and father should know. But well, why is George so concerned? Oh, that's crazier than ever. You think there's something wrong because I'm, well, I'm soft-hearted. Because I, I, I'm sentimental. Gee, that's a brand new one. I, I come to a strange town. I go to work. I'm, I'm one of the guys who can't be in the war. Okay, so I try to do what I can. Marsha told me all your mother did for people around here. And now that your brother is in the army, okay, I, I'm doing what I can. Is that a crime? I, is it a crime that I'm concerned because Grace is sick? I, well, I mean, after all, she fainted. Who have you got to run errands with your brother, Gern? And is it a crime that Marsha's concerned? I, I, I don't get you, Rosie. Rosie, She'll call him back. Don't go, Rosie. While George is here, let's talk this whole thing out. <laughs> I'd be glad to say I'd have been lucky to meet Grace before Sammy did, if, <laughs> if that means anything. It's nothing to fool about. Rosie's dead serious, aren't you, Rosie? I don't want my mother hurt. I, I don't want my brother hurt. No one is hurting me. I love your mother, Rosie. She's my mother, too. I love your brother. He's my husband. I'm worried about him day in and day out because I don't know where he is. And then you come around with these schoolgirl suspicions, these queer, queer stories. You're the one who's going to hurt your mother, Rosie. You should be careful. Even false suspicions can poison people's minds. Yes, I'm coming, Don't Ma. go, Rosie. I can wait. No. I'll get it. No, no, I'll go. No. I'll go. My dad's for it. Well, gee, Grace. Sometimes you act like a prize dummy. Well, can I help it if I'm worried? Well, do you have to act like a fool? Do you have to go running around until everybody starts thinking you're a saint or a devil? Well, it's dangerous, Grace. She's really suspicious. Oh, it's all talk. Do you know what she did? What? She's giving me the money. She is? Yes, and if you weren't such a ninny, she wouldn't be suspecting a thing. Oh, maybe you're right, but, but I'm getting nervous. And I don't only mean about you, I, I mean about Sam. We'll leave as soon as the money comes. It has to be sent. Well, suppose a letter comes from Sammy. It's a long time, Grace. His ship must have arrived. And I'm getting scared. And, and the way things are now, I, I mean you having that baby and... and... I'm not leaving till we have the money. We came here for the money in the first place. I didn't go all through this for nothing. But suppose the letter comes. Then we'll see that the Goldbergs don't get it. Oh, that's crazy. How can we do that? I'm telling you, George. 
I'm getting sick and tired of hearing you whine all the time. And if you oh, don't... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't get excited, Grace. Gee, you think, think of how you are. You, you have to be calm. Well, how can I be calm with a fool like you? We made up our minds to go through with this, and nothing's going to stop us. Oh, but... We've got to see that if a letter comes, the Goldbergs don't get it. It can be done. Just the way we stopped the kid. She's not suspicious anymore. I don't get you. I don't understand you. Grace, when you get something in your mind... Don't that... philosophize. We've got to see that the mail from Sammy doesn't reach his mother until we're gone. Well, I hope it's soon. Gee, I hope it's soon. Grace sits out in the sun near the maple, and George stands there, and they look innocent and simple in the summer scene. But Rosie is right, and she'd better be right before the effect of this alliance gets home to Molly. You know, there's a lady in Jeffersonville, Missouri, who helps to shoot down one Axis plane every month. You know how she does it? She turns in one pound of waste fat to her butcher every single month. And each pound of waste fat she turns in makes enough glycerin to fire one shell from an anti-aircraft gun. And our fighting men are using those shells to shoot down plane after plane. Now, how about you? You've been turning in your waste fat to make the shells our soldiers and sailors need to win this war? You know, all the government wants from you is the fat you'd ordinarily throw away. And that means even solid fats, too, like, like meat trimmings and poultry fat. Save it all. And melt it down in your oven along with whatever you're cooking. Then pour it into a clean container and be sure and take it to your butcher. Now, don't put it off. Get your waste fat into the fight. Don't throw it out. Turn it in. Keep our guns firing. Be sure to listen to the next episode of The Goldbergs. Rosie finds herself in a quandary until she learns another important fact. This is Clayton Collier speaking and reminding you to do as the dozens do. Let does, the new kind of soap, do everything in your wash.